BPD is calling out one of their own after documents say Sergeant Christopher Johnson reportedly was drunk while on duty. The complaint filed by a co-worker claiming on February 7th, two officers saw Johnson driving his patrol car before realizing he may be under the influence during a call for service. Police say those two officers contacted a supervisor. Documents say Johnson was then removed from duty and taken to the police building for further assessment. That's when it appears the details get a bit murky. After reading through court documents, there seems to be a lot of holes in the information, and we have some questions about the timeline. But at this point, both BPD and the DA's office say they can't give us answers, as it's a pending case. What we do know, officers did say they did DUI tests on Johnson, but would not specify what kind or if he was breathalyzed. According to the documents, police say they did request a search warrant to do a blood test, but it was rejected by the judge. We called the judge to see why that was denied. We have not heard back. In the end, the complaint says officers were unable to develop the probable cause necessary for an arrest approximately five hours after Johnson was detained. That five hours stuck out to us. We asked police about the gap in time. They were not able to comment. While documents say officers were not able to find enough proof for an arrest, the DA's office filed charges alleging Johnson drove a car while having a blood alcohol concentration of at least 0.08. And on top of that charge, the DA's office added an enhancement, claiming Johnson either had an even higher BAC of at least 0.15 or he refused to take chemical testing. Where we can't connect the dots because of a lack of information is why Johnson was not initially arrested, but is now facing an enhanced DUI charge. Prosecutors could not comment on how they came to that exact conclusion. Police are completely denying any claims of preferential treatment for Johnson during the investigation. Chief Martin putting out a statement saying, I am extremely proud of the integrity and moral courage displayed by the officers who intervened during this incident and their actions exemplify the culture of accountability the community should expect.